Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to HBM Mod. Last episode, we worked on the watch reactor. And today, today we're going to be working on something else. Which is going to be, probably, either the Cyclotron or Steel Factory. Which, the question is, why do we need either of these things? Well, first and foremost, the Steel Factory allows us to build the Particle Accelerator much more efficiently. Since we are building such a large accelerator... Or is at least the plan. Um, let's go ahead and get this stuff we're going to need for drilling. Uh, so you see here, this is uh, this is set up for chlorine drilling. Uh, let's go ahead and this is for the... This is just general purpose drill. You can see, it goes all the way down there. Down to bedrock. We're going to go ahead and move this to the old spot where we found the first iron. And then we're going to set up our... Oh my gosh, there's so many different things we're going to have to do. <laughs> Okay, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the drill again, over here. You can just ignore all that waste I piled up out there, it's just, that's nothing. That's nothing, okay? That's wrong. That's not how you place it. Gotta place it at the right angle. Gotta place it like uh, this. Perfect. Nice. Now, every time they drill something out of the ground, it'll go in this bin here. So, how do we do this? We're gonna need probably a con conveyor ejector. Yeah, I think it just would put it on the conveyor belt automatically, wouldn't it? Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna need different machinery. Basically, the first step in this process takes it to a centrifuge. Or does it? Actually, it does. It takes it to the centrifuge. I don't even remember. Um. Let's just look at the thing. So, with bedrock ore, it goes... With the old bedrock ore, at least. There's the new stuff. If you're doing this, the new stuff uh, is different. So, centrifuge. Then acidizer. Then centrifuge. Then acidizer again. Then centrifuge one last time. So, three centrifuges is what we're going to need. That doesn't look too bad. It's just gonna be like three of these guys in it. We might even have an extra one. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we do. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then it's perfectly fine. Let's let's just let's just do it. Make it, dude. What do we? Oh, we need the. Uh, oh, oh, we need those. We're gonna need some of them today, aren't we? It's been a long time since we made these. We're also gonna need to make the other things. I need to make two more of those actually. One, two. Alright, so that's going to be the first step. Next thing. Elements. We know how to make centrifuge elements. We're just going to need those and 12 of these. As well as iron. Iron ore. Oh, do we even have iron ingots? We have iron ingots. We have the acidizer. This is an extra acidizer. This is for the petroleum wax. They actually... Chlorinated wax is used in making ion gel and the more ionized particles. So you can basically duplicate your ionized particles if you really want to. I don't need to do that. I'm not worried about it. So, uh, although I do have the paraffin wax, I could probably do it. But easily, honestly, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> We're gonna make four of these. One, two, three, four. The rest is gonna be coils. Let's go ahead and do that. Eight steel plates, eight copper plates. Remember, we gotta get um, eight for each one. Oh, we also gotta get two of those. That means two for each one. Uh, do we have any of the copper here, or do we have that? We have steel. I'll always have steel. Do we have copper, though? This is the big question. Split down into two, 18, and 14. Perfect. Take that, that's gonna be six for each one, because it needs eight for each one, though. Which means I did it all wrong, and I have to do the math again. But, hey, there's 24. It needs 24 plates. Perfect. Do we have 24 copper ingots? Dude, this is actually probably way simpler, or way less work than the other way of doing this. The, uh, the new way. Hey, there's already coils in here. We can make motors right now. This is nice. Thanks, motor fellas. Let's make the motors right now. Da, 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 da. Motors. Perfect. 
Awesome. These guys are done. Everything seems to be going pretty well. I do have to say. Ah, uh, yes. Copper, copper plates now. Time for them. No, we don't need dash motors. We're making, like, something that literally allows you to make dash. Why would you need dash motors for that, dude? Come on. I need this thing. Which allows me to make some stuff and things. Alright, I got these three sent a few elements. They're done. They're ready to go. They just need some copper. You know, I genuinely hope that I don't have to do anything with, um, the what's it called today? The dash motors. Because we've made dash motors a lot recently. In fact, I think I made dash motors on my own for something. Or no, that was dash shredder blades. No. Gee, over at the Wads plant, I gotta show you all that the, um, nuclear waste disposal system. Uh, how do I dispose of it? Well, it doesn't burn very quickly, so I can't really dispose of it that way. Otherwise, it'll just go flying through the floor and stuff. So instead, I just opted to shred it and then burn the shredding, shredded stuff. So, works that way. Um, but the other way just goes everywhere and it doesn't actually get burnt. Which is not fun. And causes lag if you have too much of it. But I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Over here at the watch reactor. Oh my gosh, will you fix that? Please fix. Please stay lit. Dude, it's... No, I have to fix all of this. It's bothering me. Okay, that one's clear. This one is clear. Dude, why is it always gotta be this way? Come on! Ah! We've solidified 64 bricks. Awesome! Oh, we can make CMB steel! We have to stop to make CMB steel today soon. Holy! That is something we wanna do. Basically, we are slowly producing loads of iron and lead here. We have produced, um, well, a lot of lead. We've got a, a steel crate of lead right now. But what's going on here, as you can see, nuclear waste is sent into a shredder, shredded, turned into scrap, and then thrown out by a conveyor belt into this tube here, down the pit in the lava. If you do this with, like, nuclear waste, it does not actually burn. It for some reason, does not burn quickly. I don't know if it can burn even. Uh, and through the bottom comes the dust. So dust just gets spat out the bottom. So it works pretty well. It's a lot better than the other method because it's more automatic. The uh, other method is just to dump all the dust and nuclear waste on the ground. <laughs> uh, anyway, we should have all of these guys done. It's time to make another acidizer. So, let's see here. I need a second acidizer. I was thinking about making the nuclear engine for disposing of the nuclear waste, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, dash ingot. Perfect, perfect. Nothing that says dash motor. Awesome. Because if I see dash motor anywhere, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I've made enough dash motors for one lifetime. Uh. Well, dang, I forgot these things are so cheap nowadays. I, uh, did not realize how cheap... These can be to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you take this and make these. Awesome. And then you must weld plates of steel. 12. This is um, 2. I believe it needs 2. I said the correct math. Yes, it is. But it also needs a mo- oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey. Guys, why are you not doing this? Why are you not cooking up more dash? I mean, more high speed steel. This is a problem, you see. Doesn't that have tungsten or something? It's out of tungsten. Ah, oh, crap. Or is it not just poor? Is it it's just not poor? Oh my gosh, it's because we made so much high-speed steel. Well, that's an issue. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Yeah, you can get back to it, dudes. Dudes. Cook. Perfect, dude. Uh, but I gotta get all that melted up first. I completely forgot I was making high-speed steel. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
Just gotta wait for this guy to finish. Because, I mean, this is, this is a problem. You see, this is a huge issue. Uh, why are you not cooking? Come on, cook! Dude. What the heck is this? It's, you know, it's done. It's done making the high-speed steel, dudes. It won't make the high-speed steel, even if it wants to. Or something. Let me put that in there again. You make high-speed steel now? No. No high-speed steel. Alright, it's casting out two plates, and then I need two more plates. So let's cast out those two more plates. No, 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 no. We'll take out one of them, because I don't want to have an extra. We've already done that a few times. Haven't we? <laughs> okay. So that's almost done. Let me get this Xernox rod out of here. Why the heck is just random Xernox rods everywhere? And Niter. Why did I have Niter? What the heck is going on? Boots. I've got to weld these plates. At this point in the game, we're actually probably able to make this thing. Yeah, actually, we could. <laughs> we could actually make that. We just gotta go to a uh, dungeon, one of the meteor dungeons, and then we could probably get the spark energy battery thing. Spark battery. Ah, uh, spark energy cube. Spark energy cube is a different thing, but, uh, similar. Here's our welded steel plates. And it's time to make the thing. Do that, that. Now it needs... Four dash ingots, one motor, and two integrated circuit boards. And I have all that. Because it's right over here. Here? Is this where the dash is? I know the integrated circuit boards are in one of these. I've seen them. Just lying around in one of them. Here they are. Gotta check on the watch reactor every five minutes because you don't know when the thing is gonna start overflowing. Which the good thing about this system is that it cannot actually stop because the centrifuges get clogged or whatever because I'm no longer using the hoppers alone which was a problem previously but now it could just start spitting out like lead and iron and stuff if it if it gets too um, too clogged which I mean it's gonna be at that point soon but it'll be fine I can switch it out to the next thing that's the glory of this system is that I can switch it over whenever I need to Man, there's gonna be a lot of piping stuff that we have to do today to get the uh, actual automated steel mill. The ore acidizer is done, so let's go ahead and set up the uh, system here. Do we have everything? Uh, we have the crate. Yeah, we should be good. I think we got everything we're gonna need. So basically, right here, the first step is this comes out, goes to a centrifuge. If I have this steel crate, what do we got in here? Ah, uh, yes, this. I'll place this down first. I actually put a space there. Boom. That's the first step. And it's going to require a conveyor insert of this thing. And I think from there... Do we have any hoppers on us? Where the heck are my hoppers? I have a few of them. So to supplement for the actual conveyor belts, I'm going to use these hoppers and just make a staircase for some of the, for actually all the machines. <laughs> Basically, um, it's just going to be one big machine staircase down into the ground, which works, I think. Well, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Plus, it can never leak because it's hoppers. Hoppers are just good. Um, not to say the conveyors are bad. It's just saying hoppers don't ever leak ever, which is... Uh, problem with conveyors they sometimes will throw out items if you have too many items in them the only machine we can't really use hoppers on effectively is this guy but uh well this guy over here but i'm pretty sure if i wanted to i could just put a hopper under there i'm just not gonna find out I'm not gonna see if that actually works or not i don't really care about that i'm more interested in getting this thing up and running all right that's, that's already ultra compact we are already at the ultra compact setup tier Oh, well that's sideways. That's not what I want. I want it like this. Hold on. Boom. Perfect. Alright, so basically the next thing we need is... We need another one of these eject... Crap. <laughs> Why? Why so close? At least bring Star Blaster Pistol next time. Ugh. Oh. Alright, this is probably the most compact I've ever built one of these. Uh, not to say that I, I have not even built one of these. 
like for dedicated bedrock processing for just like one ore. I've never seen a use in actually making something like that. So I mean, this is the first time technically. But anyway, it, it's it's turned out pretty good, is all I'm saying here. It's it's turning out the way I want it to be. So let's go ahead and wire everything up. Keep in mind, we need to have access ports on these guys because those are gonna need uh, different chemicals piped in and stuff like that. So. And these guys are also going to need energy, but we're going to use just the regular cables because there's no point in using these thick cables on them. These are just for the ground. They look better when you put them in the ground. So, oh, come on, I did the thing again. Not supposed to do that. Use the light cables for those. Use the non-thick cables. Okay. Ah. Uh. So basically in steel making, there's an, uh, what I like to refer to as upgrading. You can either, you can take your iron and upgrade it to steel. Or you could, uh, um, what's it called? You can take your iron bedrock ore and just turn it straight into steel. The difference is that you take iron ingots and upgrading is one way of doing it. I don't think we're going to do that because it's not as efficient. It costs a crucible to do that versus with the method that we're going to use, which is going to use an RTG furnace, blast furnace. Um, you get three times out of it and you don't need any malagna. Like, uh, what I mean is... Alright, so now that we've basically got all that done, let's make an RTG Blast Furnace today. So, RTG Blast Furnace. Now, to make one of these, you're gonna need three of these. Not a problem. For that, you're gonna need six lead ingots, six steel ingots, which if we even have six steel ingots here, will be done. And then, a bunch of other stuff. Copper plates. Oh my gosh. And the thing is, you only need one of these. At this point in the game, we actually have... And that needs to be lead ingots, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes. Perfect. At this point in the game, we have all the stuff we need to actually fuel an RTG blast furnace. In fact, I've wanted to do this for a while now. I just have never gotten a chance to do it. But with the steel plant, we're gonna definitely do it. You're gonna need quartz powder. Listen up. You're gonna, you're gonna need this. Quartz powder. Why? Just, just, just wait. We're gonna need nine copper ingots. Apparently these cost gas copper plates. Which is, uh... I mean, I guess it's fine. One, two... I mean, I think it'd be pretty big. I think it'd be pretty big for, like, an RTG. Like, an RTG is kind of supposed to be smallish, isn't it? But I don't know. I don't know these things. I've never seen an RTG up close, so maybe I don't know. But I think it would be pretty small. Not gonna lie. I mean, this looks pretty small, doesn't it? Well, actually, there's huge ones. Never mind. What am I saying? Dude, you seen the Soviet RTGs? Those are huge. Uh. Oh, okay. I need to make three. Oh, it needs two for each one. Doesn't it? And I need to make three of them. So, I'm gonna need six more of these guys. That's right. Six more steel plates. Let's do it. Come on, I said let's let's do this. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check it out. Thermoelectric element. Which is what we need to make these guys. Gas copper plates as well. Everything is done. Holy Awesome. I, I thought that'd be way harder. Balagna Master Armor. Ha! Huh, take that! Wait, what? It's not even productive. Come on, get back to it. Nine sugar cane. We need paper. Again. Always need this stuff. Uh, I mean, I could make more of it. I could probably just shred trees into paper, like literally. Yeah, take that, Team Trees. You will not be winning today because I have ten shredders. And I need to make a bunch of paper. I need to make 2,000 reams of paper. Uh. Now it's time to cook this into the thing, which is, what is it even called? Oh right, it's an RTG, which is even better than a tree is for the environment. You know why? Because it just is. Thermoelectric elements, right? We got some of them, some of them, some of them, and some of them. What about what else does it need? Ah, capacitor. Of course. It always needs capacitor. Whenever you do not ask it to need this thing. 
So, one, two, three. Hey, I said three. Let's do three. Come on. Let me remind you that some of these take like 300 years to decay. So, keep in mind that you're not going to be getting these decayed nickel pellets. Well, actually, we might get this one. But it's not really useful. Strontium 90 to zirconium. What? Actinium to decay lead. Oh, yeah, lead. I love lead. Polonium. These guys last for a very long time, by the way. The nuclear blast furnace is the pinnacle of technology here, right? This thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Stare at it for 10 minutes now. Okay, good. You're cleared. I want to get this done in one episode, by the way. If you weren't aware, that's why this episode might be a little bit long. Because <laughs> we're trying to get this done in one episode. Why does that matter? Well, it doesn't even matter. It's just it's just what's going on today. It's, I have to get this done. One episode for this, not three episodes for a steel plant. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the blast furnace. And that should be everything. Thing we need. Hold on. I just gotta make some of these guys again. Hold on real quick. There's gonna be five seconds here. Blast furnace. Let's go celebrate. Celebrate, guys. It's, it's good. It's good. It's done.